Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the paper castle. Excuse my phone, my son is texting me. Um, this is my uh, eBay haul for July 30th. This is a rummage sale that I've been going to for about three years now. Um, last year was interesting because the power went out the day of the sale, like right, I guess in the middle of the night before the sale. They never got it back on, sent all of us home, which stunk. Um, but I did manage to get back there one of the other days they were having it. And I actually managed to find a few good things, even though um, I think it was their second or third day of selling things. So that was kind of miraculous. But anyway, um, this is a good one. They have all kinds of different rooms. And the people are really nice. The only difficult part about this sale is actually getting in the door. Uh, it's really frustrating. This one's out in New Brunswick, which is Rutgers territory. Um, and what you do is, this one they give you numbers like an estate sale, which is strange. I've never been to a rummage sale where they give you numbers. Usually you just have to line up. And who's ever in the line, then that's the order you walk into the building. Well, they don't do it that way. And because they don't do it that way, it gets a little crazy. Um, I got there like 8.15 and I'm sitting there on, there's like a little ledge right outside the two double doors where you go in. Sat myself on the ledge, got out my book and that was it, I was just, just reading. And little by little people start coming up, they're getting their numbers also and for the most part they stayed in various parts of the parking lot and they're talking and whatever. Then it gets to be about 15 minutes before the sale, and you can feel them like a wave. They're getting closer and closer and closer, and I'm trying to put my nose deeper in this book and not look up so I'm not completely claustrophobic because they get so close to you, it feels like they're on top of you, and they're all trying to get into this building at once. It's crazy. So then they open the door, and then they give you numbers, but they don't call the numbers out loud enough so then the people at least <laughs> out in that part of New Jersey are very spirited <laughs> and don't have a problem voicing their opinion um, in various ways and one woman someone was nudging her so she cursed them out and since she's screaming at them then the guy's not calling the numbers out loud enough, so then some other woman starts cursing at this poor man and tells him that she's going to sue him if anybody gets hurt going into this building because he's not calling the numbers out loud enough and everyone's trying to crowd into the building all at once. It's a crazy, crazy, like, 20 minutes trying to get in this place, but it's worth it. So let me show you guys what I bought. I spent about 50 bucks. I already made that back uh, on the few things that I've sold or have bids on. So, um, oh, but first before I show you that stuff, I missed a couple things in the last video, the garage sale in Florida video. I bought this at that guy's house who was selling all the antiques. It's a metal yellow lab. I'm guessing it's a hood ornament. At least I think it's a hood ornament. It cost me a buck. Figured there's a lot of dog lovers out there, so I picked this up. Anybody knows, you know, if, if it's something other than a hood ornament, then let me know because I don't have a clue. But that's what I'm going to list it as. I haven't listed that yet. And the last thing I bought, which was, I think it was five bucks. Yeah. For five bucks, I got a Quattro Pizzel Baker from Villaware. This is not one of their, this is one of their lower end models. I bought one of these a year or two ago, uh, one of the higher end models. I think I also bought that for five bucks. It was brand new in the box and I sold it for 100, 150, something like that. This one will probably only get about 30 to 40 on, but it's in excellent condition. So looks like it's only been used like once, if that. So, I actually have another one of these sitting on the floor next to me right now that I'm going to keep for myself because uh, my husband's aunt used to make pizzas all the time for Christmas 
And being that I'm married to an Italian man, I really should learn how to make good pizzas. Oh, we'll see how that goes this Christmas. That'll be interesting. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys everything I got there. And like I said, I paid about 50 bucks for everything. I'm going to try and give you guys prices on this. Most of the mugs, if not all of them, I think were 25 cents. I did buy a Port Marion Botanic Garden mug that had daisies on it. You can check my, um, well, by the time you see this, it'll probably be gone from completed listings. Anyway, it was a Port Marion Botanic Garden Daisy Bristol mug, if you want to see what they look like from other people's listings. That I paid 25 cents for. Already sold that and shipped it out for $20 with free priority shipping. All the mugs were 25 cents. So I got this one from Ireland with all these Celtic symbols. There's two Celtic style eagles and a bull inside the rim of the mug. This is from Celtic Ireland. I think I put that up for 18 to 20. And all this stuff has free shipping, I think, for the most part. I got two of these Lennox Urban Lights mugs and actually already sold one like the second day I had these up which I was surprised because these kind of things usually don't sell until you know someone breaks one that they already have so I was happy about that I got this Laurel Birch Rainbow Cats mug um, I don't know might get maybe 15 out of that there's a lot of these on eBay but I have another one down in the basement so I might actually take that down or take these both down and list them together then I got one Starbucks New York City mug I was excited to find this because I thought ooh a Starbucks City mug you know and it's different from the normal ones because it has this raised um, embossed design on it but unfortunately it's not worth as much as the other city mugs this one's only worth about 30 with free shipping and then the last one I got, I sold one of these right at the beginning when I first started on eBay. And so I don't know if this is in one of my videos or not. I think it might be. But anyway, this is a very interesting one from Taylor and Ning in San Francisco. And this is called, and <laughs> this is not me naming it. This is what it's called on all the listings. It's called the Penguin orgy mug because all these penguins are doing very interesting things <laughs> all together in one spot so yeah so that's that this is dated 1979 these aren't selling as well as they were you know what nine years ago when I started so I'll maybe make ten um, well that's without shipping I think I put it up for like 18. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. I've been listing a lot the past week. So my brain's a little fuzzy on prices. Um, I found this pyramid clock. This is interesting. It's a time pyramid and it moves. So all these individual sections kind of move. And as they move, you line up the time the numbers with these arrows and it tells you what time it is which I thought was a cute like novelty thing um, I got the there's silver gold and black this is the black one brand new in the box should be able to get about uh, 12 to 15 on that then the only thing I could find like in the perfume well, they don't really have a perfume section but um, kind of where all that stuff was I found this facial cleanser called Swiss So Flower European Skin Care. This is the is this herbal foaming cleanser. Uh, there's some on eBay, but they're not really selling, so maybe ten bucks on that if I can find somebody who wants it. Then I bought um, they had like a little Estee Lauder box, like a promotional thing that you get if you buy other things during the holidays and the bag had lipstick and this little mini perfume and a few other things in it well this was the only thing worth selling this is 
what is this called? Oh, I have to find it, guys. Estee Lauder Tuscany Perdana Eau de Parfum. 0.25 ounces. Uh, might make about 10 on that. Then I did find... I don't think I have any watchers yet. I did put this up at auction. This is like a... I'm not going to take this all out of here, but this is like a 12-piece Crabtree and Evelyn uh, Refreshing Aloe Vera Travel Set. There's conditioner, there's shampoo, there's body lotion, body wash, um, emery board, sewing kit, shower cap. You guys get the idea. Uh, all in this little travel bag. I think I paid like a buck for it. If that, no, I paid a quarter for it. So I put it up for 30 with free shipping just because some of the Crabtree and Evelyn things are hard to find and people will pay really good prices for them. In fact, I just sold a bottle of Crabtree and Evelyn lavender water, um, you know, uh, like cologne spray or whatever. I paid two bucks for that at a rummage sale a couple months ago and just sold that for 80 bucks today. So happy about that. Um, I did find this pepper grinder. It's a tall one. It's like 10 and a half inches. I think I paid like a dollar for that. Yeah. And bought it because it has this crush grind mechanism in the bottom, which is supposed to be good I looked it up um, can't find a name on the pepper grinder though but I did put Danish mod style in the title to hopefully get more people looking at it so we'll see what happens with that it does have a few little spots on it like here where the woods discolored and another spot on top but hopefully it should still sell I think I put it up for 20 and I can't remember I think I put it up for auction first then I found, I think this might have been a dollar. Yeah. It was this little Martha Stewart Penguin Copper Cookie Cutter, and it has the booklet with it. I bought this because I, I knew from research from when I first started, Martha by Mail Copper Cookie Cutters can go for a fortune. This one, unfortunately, just by itself, um, I think I've got three watchers on it right now and I put it up for 15 with free first class shipping. So if I get that, I'll be happy. But if you guys can find sets of Martha Stewart by mail cookie cutters, some of them go for hundreds of dollars. It's amazing. Look them up on eBay and you'll see what I mean. Um, then for another dollar, I believe, I found this leather checkbook cover. This is called Celtic Oak, I think, and it's by Oberon Design. And it did have a spot here where it was all sticky, where there was a tag had been, but I took some olive oil and put it on there and rubbed it and got it all out, and it looks brand spanking new. It was also There was also some transfer down here from the adhesive, but it looks amazing. looks like it's never been used. And these actually go for a decent amount of money. Um, these go for like... 30 to 45 dollars something like that I think I was gonna put mine up for 32 with free shipping and <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys then I think this was also a dollar I just bought this little cannon replica it has a wooden base and a metal cannon and unfortunately, like one of the brackets over here is missing, and this one only has one nail in it. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So, I don't know. Take a shot with that. Maybe start it at 20 and see if I get any bites. I'm not really an expert in, you know, uh, decorative cannon figurines. So, I don't know. But I know other people who have sold them. So, that's why I got it. Then for another quarter... I got this little cup, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what the heck this was. And then, but I just saw it said, Ray Dunn by Magenta on the bottom, and I knew I'd had such good luck with my teapot and my creamer from a couple months ago that I just snatched it up. It does have a hairline crack in the glaze right back here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's also inside. 
But we finally, me and my whole family figured out that this had to be an orange. So I listed it as an orange juice cup. Right now, <clears throat> it's going to end tonight. I have 18 people watching it and it's up to $26. I started at 18 with free first class shipping. Now it's up to 26 So fingers crossed. I'm hoping this goes a lot higher today. We'll have to see. But yeah, some of the older stuff of hers like like that piece I assume is older and harder to find can go for really really good prices um, then I got this JFK bust which is somebody had it listed as brass it has a brass finish but it's not brass because as you can see here part of the brass finish has been rubbed off but it's just like you know plain white hollow metal with a brass finish on the marble base I don't know, maybe 20 on that. I think I paid I think I paid two or three for that. I got, unfortunately, in the last room where I bought that, I got a bunch of stuff together and I had a woman who just, you know, she was giving everybody high prices, so it kind of ticked me off. But I got everything else so cheap that I just went with it. I picked up this little trinket box. I think this was also like a quarter. And this is a little I said Cheshire Cat in the title because he looks like he's smiling. Little Cheshire Cat trinket box, maybe 10 on that. Um, for another, I think a dollar, I got this Bionaire water treatment cartridge. Whoa. Hello. This is for a humidifier. Should be able to get about 10 to 12 on that. Um... Got this hand-painted Italian rooster plate because I know how popular chickens are. This is from Zanoli in Italy. Hopefully get about 20 with free shipping on that. Oh, what else, what else, what else? Um, in the kids' room, I picked up the book, a book for the consignment sale for 25 cents. And then for another 25 cents, I got this really cool vintage Garfield beverage holder. You inflate it and you can put it in your pool and it has room for four different glasses in here which I thought was cool but the thing that cracks me up the most about this <laughs> is that it actually says on the box and this is sad that they actually had to put this on the box it says here deflated seriously who's gonna think that the inflated <laughs> finished product is in this box <laughs> unbelievable it amazes me what kind of warnings they have to put on stuff because of, you know, moronic people who are like, Oh, is that inflated in the box? Oh, you mean you can't eat the packaging with that goes with that, you know, microwave meal? I mean, it's just unbelievable. Oh, or, you know, when it comes out of the microwave, Oh, it's, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> we should be careful. Oh, God. You just want to bang your head on something sometimes is the things people say. All right, moving on. Um I did find a set of silverware for 2 bucks. This is Interper, it's I N T E R P U R. And I bought it because it has the nice wooden handles which are popular. A lot of them are cracked, but I mean, I got this whole lot for 2 bucks, so I'm not going to complain. So I'm going to sell the whole lot together, hopefully make maybe 30 to 40, maybe a little more, I don't know, we'll have to see. I think there's like 60, 50, 60 pieces in there. Then I got this set of Dansk, oh, there's my hair in it, surprise, surprise, oh no, it's not Dansk, sorry, it's Crate and Barrel, Crate and Barrel, Demi Toss, cup and saucer set, or espresso cup and saucer set, whatever. I'll probably put both of those words in the title. But there's six here. Um, hoping to get at least 40 for that. I think I paid two. And then in the boutique room, I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked and was having a hard time making a decision. I finally bought some Lennox pieces in there. One piece I bought that's already sold um, and shipped out is a what is it? 
is a Lennox Classic Parrot Tulip figurine. It was a really delicate looking tulip figurine that was white with gold trim. Now they do make other parrot tulip figurines, but they're colored. They're pink with uh, green leaves. But this one was the classic um, like cream and gold. And there aren't many of them. So that one sold right away for $25.99 with free shipping. That shipped to somebody in Jersey, so it didn't cost me much to ship. That was three bucks. Oh no, five bucks, sorry. Because we're in the boutique room. And then she charged me a little too much for this one. This is also Lennox. This is um, she charged me eight for this. This is called Al's Autumn Song and it's a music box made back in 2006 and I just thought it was really pretty I'm like oh that's got to go for something look how pretty that is so then I go on replacements.com and it says they're selling them for $23.99 I'm like really? $23.99? because <laughs> usually you can, you can only get half or a little bit more than what replacement itself sells things for but they did not have this particular music box on eBay because they usually cross list a lot of stuff on eBay. They didn't have it on eBay and also on their site they didn't have like Thanksgiving corn cornucopia harvest or any of those kinds of words in the title. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I put this up for 30 at auction and I put all those words in my title and lo and behold got a bid. So minus the shipping I should make just about as much as replacements would on this. So I was happy about that. Especially since I paid eight bucks for it. Um, then the other thing I bought in the um, boutique room, which will probably be my best seller, is this little set. This is also from Lennox. This is from around the early 1900s. It's this little Art Nouveau style cup and saucer. It's brown porcelain, but it has this beautiful silver sterling silver, I'm assuming, overlay on it. And there is a little monogram here, which is hard to see. And then there's the matching plate. Unfortunately, the plate right here has a crack in it. If it didn't have a crack, I'd probably do really well on this. I don't know what I'm going to do on this. I know a cup just like this, except it was cobalt blue, which is a much more desirable color. Sold for $113. Um, so I put this set up for 30 with free shipping. I have like five, six watchers on it now, so we'll just have to wait and see. I'm hoping it gets multiple bids. And then I got this vase, and it's hard to see, but it's just a cylindrical bud vase with all these frosted dots all over it. But I bought it because this is also Lennox. And you're probably going to have to take my word for it because you're probably not going to be able to see it on here. But right down here, it says Kate Spade, New York. It says Lennox up here. This is the Larrabee dot pattern. It's about seven and a half inches tall, and I should be able to make about 60 on that. I paid. What did I pay for that? Uh, $3. So not bad for 3 bucks. And this I found like on my fifth or sixth trip through that room. Because you guys know I like to go through rummage sales and then go back and go back and go back. Because people put things back and people move stuff. And there's usually in the beginning of the sale there's too many people and you miss stuff because it's crowded. So I always, always, always go back. And I'm glad I did. Okay, last but not least, and I hope this stupid camera doesn't turn itself off before I'm finished. Because I only have one more thing to show you guys. I bought this and I was going to sell it because I know that I can make money on it. But <laughs> being the huge geek that I am, he it did it again. I think after 25 minutes this thing shuts itself off. I'm going to have to find a way to fix this. It's really driving me bonkers. Anyway. But I went into the boutique room and I saw this little guy. Now, he is Made by Collegiate. This will focus. Ooh. Wake up. There we go. It's made by Collegiate. This is a personality pet. 
and they had a whole line of these different animals. This is Oogie the Owl, by the way. Um, but they had all kinds of animals for all different kinds of schools and organizations. And what you would do is you would call up and you would say, I would like, you know, however many Oogie the Owls, and I would like them in these colors for my school or whatever organization, and I want these initials on the front, which is great. They sell on eBay. They're vintage, like from the 50s. So it's like, oh, cool. You know, I can sell that. But then I got to looking at it. I'm like, I got to keep it. <laughs> and when I explained to my husband why I had to keep it, he just shook his head and went, you're so sad. <laughs> But I had to keep him, number one, because he's an owl. Number two, because he's burgundy and gold, which are Gryffindor colors. And number three, because he has an HP on him for Harry Potter. <laughs> so this is my new little Harry Potter Gryffindor mascot owl. And he's just so cool. And I have to, have to, have to keep him. I just can't bear to part with him. So now my whole family, you know thinks I'm a geek, but it was funny because I told, I explained to my husband why I was going to keep it and he's like, oh god. And then a couple days later my son comes in and he picks it up off the floor and he goes, what's this? And he just looks at it and he goes, what is this, like a Harry Potter owl? And my husband's like, oh my god. <laughs> he's like, all you people are just sad. Anyway, I love him and I'm keeping him, so there. I hardly keep anything that I ever buy from garage sales or rummage sales, but that I'm keeping. So, that's it guys. Um, I'll have to give you an update on what some of these things sold for. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I go to um, the second rummage sale of the season out at the Catholic School in Pennsylvania. So, fingers crossed I find good stuff. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon.